Oh, <laughs> vitamin C. <laughs> hey, everybody. You know, there's that new Hairspray movie out. Now, remember, this is the John Waters film that then became a Broadway musical, that then became a movie musical. So it was a movie musical and then the Broadway. It all makes sense somehow. And look, look, a button. Anyway, let's take a look at some exciting clips from this Hairspray movie and things all about it. Isn't that exciting, ladies and gentlemen? Woo! <laughs> Do the magic door. Look at that, I didn't even wait for my close-up. I must be sick. <laughs> The casting process for Hairspray was unusually long. It devoted the first several months to a nationwide city-by-city -city search for the central character, Tracy. It happens occasionally that people throw the doors open to find an unknown for the starring role. I had read on the internet that Mulan Cinema was making a new Hairspray movie. They videotaped me singing some of the songs and some of the scenes from the Broadway show. Oh, mama, welcome to the city. And they sent it to the casting directors, and the casting director said, well, we'll be in New York, could you meet us? And I went in for an audition. We saw hundreds and hundreds of girls. Twelve at a time, we will bring you upstairs. I wanted somebody who was age-specific, 17 or 18, and I wanted her to be very pretty. I wanted somebody who could really sing and who could really move, and somebody who enjoyed their body and felt sexy. Once a week, I was going back and looking at that audition of Nikki. Good morning, Baltimore. He sort of immediately had an instinct about her. A couple of weeks later, they called and they said, you have a screen test. And I was like, oh my god, you know, OK. They put me in full Tracy hair, makeup, and costume. I was never screen tested before. It's my first time, so I was geared up to go. I am so ready. I'm ready to go to some I looked at myself after hair and makeup, and I went, Oh my God, this is what I'm meant to look like. I look like Tracy Dermblad, and, and I love it. Ever since this whole world began, a woman found out if she shook a chick, a chick up a man. Nikki showed up on that soundstage as though she were born on, on a Hollywood soundstage. It was as natural as though it were a second skin for her. No inhibitions. I was not hiding anything anymore. It was, this is me, and this is what I got. And I hope you like it. I went in there, and I just put myself on the table. Our first lady, Jacqueline Kennedy, rats her hair. I called the producers and the studio, actually, and I said, I think it's going to be this girl. Dancing on the show is my dream. And she works in an ice cream parlor. And Nikki was told, that we were doing a behind the scenes in the making of Hairspray where we were following the final four girls and could we come to where she worked and shoot for the DVD. I said, okay, come to Cold Stone, you know, it's an ice cream store, but okay. It was cameras everywhere and microphones and I was like, this is interesting. And her family was there, but none of them had any idea that we were even close to a decision. What we wanted to do was to surprise her. I taped a message to her that I acted like I was, it was a general message to all the different girls, thanking them for their patience, knowing how hard it must have been to go through the audition process. They sat her down and said, here's a message from the director. Hey, Nikki, I think that you should probably, you know, make yourself a big ice cream cone because it's you, honey. You got the part. I literally could not control myself. She'd never done anything professional, and now her backup cast was John Travolta and Queen Latifah and Michelle Pfeiffer, James Marsden and Christopher Walken. It was pretty emotional. It was really like the longest, longest, longest shot that we'd ever find her. It was just magic. It was magic for her. It was magic for us. Nikki is the Tracy for this movie. I'm crying, but I'm standing here today because I followed my dreams, and my dreams came true. I'm Tracy. So that's, you gotta do it from here first, and then you have to show that Tammy actually signed this. This is from Heritage USA Christian Theme Park, which is gorgeous. Please go. Please. Envy, there's lots of envy going around. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I envy that you two like Grease too so much too. And let me seriously, when's that going to be on Broadway? We got Xanadu. I mean, why not Grease too? Right? Grease too could totally happen. I think it could. I oh, I definitely think it could. Hi. Hi, old world friends. What's up? Like, we love song. Tammy Faye. Took his hand out of the puppet's ass to come see Tammy Faye. That's our joke. Once and for all. Once and for all. <laughs>
you know, we've had helicopters. Why not a bowling alley on stage, right? Well, I, it's got to happen. It's got to happen very soon. How do you how do you do like the. Uh, you know the the uh, when he shows up in the, the who's that guy who who's that guy when he's on the motorcycle that could be done. I, I don't know. I wouldn't I wouldn't mess with perfection. It already exists. Yeah.